It's Kristen and welcome to a Throwback Thursday. So I haven't done one of these in quite some time and I'll get to explaining what it is in just a second but I just want to mention um, those of you that are loyal viewers of my channel probably noticed I didn't put up a video on Tuesday. I don't think I've missed a Topic Tuesday video since I started Topic Tuesday probably four years ago something like that but um, just kind of the way things are with work and the, some of the travel that I've had to do and that sort of thing um, I have decided to not have set upload days anymore. I'm just going to try to upload about every four days or so. And so it may fall on a Tuesday. It may not. If it does, it will, of course, be Topic Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, I just... Sometimes I just need to adjust things a little bit. Um, and, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're just going to see how it goes. But I'm not going away, I promise. All right. So, um, Throwback Thursday is actually something that was created by Marnie from Ms. Goal Girl. And I was doing it regularly. And then just it just didn't work. So that's another reason why I'm changing things up. Because this is actually a video I really enjoyed filming and just kind of got away from it due to time and, and that sort of thing. So I go back, I have chosen to go back two years and I, I look at my favorites from that month and come back and talk to you guys about them. The other thing I was doing was kind of trying to keep these towards the end of the month, like with the favorites and empties and that sort of thing. But I, I don't know why I was doing that. I don't think it's really necessary to keep it at the end of the month. So I'm just going to do it at some point in the month when it happens. If you guys still enjoy these. If you're sick of these, then let me know and I won't do them anymore. So, But I really enjoy filming them. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so the first thing that I had on my, month from on my list from the month um, of November in 2013 was the Embryolise Le Creme Concentré and I actually have an unopened one here. I had, I was using up the one that I have. So this is what it looks like and what I use this for is uh, as a primer. I had seen makeup artists talk about it, um, a friend that's a makeup artist talk about it and I really like this product. It's very very nice. It's funny I actually, I use this most often in the winter and having finished up the other one, I kind of really miss it. So I'm working through a Cover FX primer that I have right now, and then I will probably go back to that. The next thing that I had on there was the Cover Girl Stay Out, st no, Cover Girl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1 foundation. And I'm trying not to shake it so you can see. I've used a good chunk of this, but that tells me that I need to use this. This needs to, right now I'm working through uh, Revlon Color Stay, but if this is two years old, I, this needs to go on the list next. Uh, I do really like this. The shade is a little bit dark for me, which is part of the issue, so I probably will decide. I, I was using it a lot in the summer um, when my skin had a little bit of color to it, so I'm not, I'm not sure what so I'm going to go back to this after I finish the Revlon Color Stay, see if I can work with it. If not, I'll either pass it along or toss it, but I do really like this foundation. Having said that, um, I like this better for a drugstore option. The CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous just seems to work a little bit better. Um, isn't quite... I find the... 3-in-1 can be a little bit drying. I have reviews on both of these that I will link below for you if you are interested, but I do like the 3-in-1. The I just like the Ready, Set, Gorgeous a little bit better. All right, the next thing I had on there, and I think that I have repurchased this, I think, two times. That was the bus, by the way. Uh, I think two times since uh, mentioning it in this video. I love this. This is the Lingerie de Peau uh, by Guerlain. The Lingerie de Peau BB Booster. This is what I have on my face today. Boy, I tell you, it just gives such a nice coverage, but a th but it doesn't feel heavy on your skin. It I feel like it gives me a little bit of um, you know kind of glowiness, illuminated skin sort of look. I re I still really really I really like that. I do. <laughs> uh, and then the powder that I talked about was the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. It was the original. And how I talked about using this is still the case. I still use it with a fluffy brush over a foundation that um, has a good enough coverage. Or I'll use it with more like my Sephora 55, if I, have, I do have one here, like my Sephora 55, a little more dense brush. If I want a little more coverage from the powder, if the foundation doesn't have as much coverage. I always set my foundation, well I shouldn't say always, but 80% of the time I set my foundation with a powder foundation just to give enough coverage that I like. So, um, I have a shade in light medium, and I still like it like that. I don't like it on its own. I've mentioned that a couple of times now. I really don't. But I do want to say that if you want just a little bit of a glowier sort of finish, the um, Illumination one, it's probably really glary, but 
that's this one. This just offers a little bit something more. So frequently if I'm using these, if I'm in a mode of using these, this one is more summer and this one is more winter because I don't know. I always don't understand people all about the glowy skin in the summer. I mean, I get it. You want to be sunny, glowy, bronzy, but in the winter, I don't really want to look dead either. <laughs> so anyway, I use the, for me, I use this one in the winter and I use this one in the summer. Okay, next I have a couple of face products. And what's so funny is that I just finished filming a four looks, two palettes that you will see here in a few days. And um, I did that, I think I finished a couple of days ago. Anyway, one of the blushes I pulled out to use during that was this one. And it was on my favorites from that month. And this is the Ila Masca blush in Naked Rose. I mean, I talked this thing to death back in the day. <laughs> and I still use it. You guys have seen it pop up here and there. Or it's in my, you know, my description box of what I'm wearing if you've, if you've checked that out. But there's a, it's just perfect. It is the perfect blush. I can't imagine a skin that, that doesn't, this doesn't look good on. I love this blush. Absolutely love it. And still, I'm surprised as much as... I have a couple of blushes in my collection that I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on because I use, I've used them so much. And this honestly looks like I haven't even touched it. And I've worn it so much. And I am wearing that today. And then the other face product was the Balm Mary Luminizer. I have no idea how long I had this because I think I had this in a favorite so like not that long ago. Um, and the, but that's kind of how my favorites are. My favorites aren't new products. My favorites are what I'm legit liking and and loving at that moment anyway i digress this is the uh like i said the balm mary luminizer it's just this gorgeous in case you haven't by some chance haven't seen this um oh it's just so stunning and that is that glow that you see right there absolutely gorgeous one of my favorite highlights of life absolutely just stunning. but it is a, in your face i mean as Melissa Prada would say, it is a ba-bam highlight. <laughs> so I had in there um, this cool blush brush that I was liking to use actually for highlight. This still is one of the softest brushes I own. And it just says blush brush by Quo Professional. So it looks like this. And um, just, do you see how that, I kind of went on, on and on in that in the original video, which I'll link below <laughs> if you're curious. But what I like this for is highlight. Um, and I do still use it. I actually had to take it out of my drawer. It wasn't in current rotation. Um, but I do still like it. I, I would say, though, that I prefer the Sephora 79 brush a little bit more now. Um, just the way that it's cut lends itself better to a highlight versus a, blush, a brush that's meant for blush. So this is... I find this to be similar to the Chanel brush that I just talked about in my um, favorites. But you can see it's similar, but not not exactly. You can see the Chanel brush is wider, and there's a little bit more there's a little bit more denseness to that than versus this one. But at any rate, if you have a quote, if you have access to quote, which is only sold to my knowledge in Canada, check that one out. It's really nice for just kind of that. And and I would think it would work for you know my new way of my current way of applying blush. Um, I think it would work for that too. So. Anyway. Alright, this I had to go and get. I, I have to tell you, if there is one product in my collection that I neglect, it is my cream bases and pencils. So this, and I remember talking, I used this so much back then, and gosh, I don't remember the last time I've used it, but here, I just did this. Let me show you how, do you see how um, nice and emollient that still is? So this is, shall I tell you, this is the Laura Mercier um, cream pencil in cocoa. Is that what it's called? Caviar stick in cocoa. I mean, and this, I should get this off right away. So it blends out very easily. You can see how nice that blended out. It's an amazing base on your eyes. And then once it stays, once it sets, it sets. And it's not going anywhere until you take makeup remover to it, which is probably what I'll have to do. Um, really, really nice. I don't think that it claims to be anything like that, but the, these these are so nice. I have these in several shades. I neglect my shadow sticks something fierce. I don't... I don't know why, if it's the oily eyelid situation that I have or what, but I, I really, I haven't used this in so long, so I need to, I need to break that out and use it. I remember using it as a base, and actually I'll move into talking about that, um, as a base under Sable, I think is what I talked about in that video. So in that video I showed um, 
was one of my favorites, a MAC neutral palette that I had put together based on like an email I got from um, from MAC, like how makeup artists do it or something. I think I've adjusted it just a little bit or I've changed it over time or as I've had clients like that I traveled to, I kind of adjusted this particular palette to what I was going to use on them whenever. But I will list below for you the actual shades in order that I showed back in that video. Um, but I mean, MAC shadows, I, I love them. <laughs> We all, I think we all love MAC shadows. For the most part, there are definitely some duds in, in the MAC line, but. So I wanted to give that a mention. And then the Jane Single Shadow and Passion Flower, I still love this. You can, I don't know if you will be able to tell, but um, let me give you a little swatch of it. I have this on my eyes today with a little bit of MAC Quarry in the crease and then some handwritten on the other corner. But I mean, it's just so pretty. I know the hard thing, the hard thing, <laughs> the hard thing about these, is that they're not sold anymore at Ulta. So if you order th online, like through Kohl's, lots of people have said that they've arrived shattered and that sort of thing because they are very soft. But I really like them. They they wear a long time on me. They blend very nicely. This particular finish is the shimmer finish. Just, I, this is definitely my most worn shadow f that I have from the line. I've used this quite a bunch. You can barely see the little, <laughs> the little flower anymore. I really like those. I think they're nice shades. I think they're a little bit... Uh, for drugstore, they're I think they're eight dollars a piece. So it's a it's get, getting up there a little bit for a single shadow, but I do really I do really like them. Um, okay, so then I have some lip products. So what's on my lips today is the Givenchy, and I think it's the Rouge Interdit is how you say it. In number twelve, Sensual Rose. I don't remember the last time I wore this. I do really like it, but it's definitely not a favorite that I reach for all the time. It's a very interesting kind of pink with a little bit of coral in it. Very, very pretty. I like how it feels on the lips. Um, I, re I have to say, I, I mean, I don't know the last time I wore this. I, I can't, so I can't even tell you. I don't remember them wearing that long, but I can't speak to that for sure right now because it's been so long, so. And two years, see, this is the other thing. Two years on the lip product, I, I don't remember the last time I wore. I need to do a little lip clean out, I think. What do you right. mean? And then I had a lip combo, and I've worn this one before for certain. And that is the Essence Stay Matte Lip Cream. I've talked about these a bunch. This was originally sent to me by um, Emily. And this is the one in Velvet Rose, if I, in case I didn't say that. I have two others of them, and I don't know if these are around anymore. I feel like I looked the last time I was at Ulta and couldn't find them. But... Um, it was that, and then I was putting this over it, and this came in a kit. And I have tried to find a drugstore dupe or any sort of dupe for this shade. This is a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Dazzler. If you, like I said, if you, if you kind of pay attention to what I wear, um, when I talk, when I say what's on my lips or whatever, I have worn this a bunch. I absolutely love this shade. There's just something about it. Um, so that's the Velvet Rose and then that's Dazzler. And those two combined just have a, it's a really pretty kind of pinky peach nudie sort of lip. Uh, and I do, I've worn, I have definitely worn those. Those are still favorites. The last thing that I had on there was NYX, um, the NYX lip gloss in Salsa. I got rid of almost all of my NYX lip glosses. I think I only have two left because I just had had them for so long. It was just time for them to go. So I don't have that one anymore, but I do, I do like the NYX lip glosses still, but if you don't like, they kind of smell like cherry cola or something. I don't know. If you don't like a scent, you will not appreciate those. So I hope that you enjoyed this little <laughs> trip down memory lane to uh, November of 2013. Some things were still favorites, some things not so much, and some things I've been neglecting. So like I said, this is one of the reasons why I really like these. Do let me know if you still enjoy seeing these. I will continue to do them if you like them. But if you guys are like, nah, we're over it, that's fine too. Just let me know kindly and gently. Um, and yeah, I think I've told you everything that's on my face because I tried to wear everything that was in my favorite. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.